good morning children today we are going to start chapter 5 that is a different kind of school so this lesson is a message about how doing simple things can make learning more interesting and easier so learning while doing is a best way to learn different things when we perform things and then we learn so that is the best way to do any of those things moreover other than learning routine things we need to make ourselves aware and concerned about our environment and its problems so how we can make children more responsible and aware citizens to know this we have to read this chapter that is a different kind of school it's very interesting chapter uh, with this chapter we'll come to know how we learn better when we actually do the things in reality fine so let's read it i had heard a great deal about miss bean's school but not till last week did the chance come to visit it so this is basically a narrator is narrating this chapter the narrator says the narrator is a person who writes it or who in, narrates an incident so the narrator is saying that he had heard a lot of miss beams school there was miss beams school and he had heard a lot many things about that school but he got a chance to visit it the previous week he said last week i got the chance to visit that school and i am very lucky that i got a chance to visit miss beam school because we all have heard a lot about that school when i arrived there was no one in sight but a girl of about 12 her eyes were covered with a bandage and she was being led carefully between the flower beds by a little boy who was about 4 years younger she stopped and looked like she asked him who had come he seemed to be describing me to her then they passed on so the narrator said that uh, when he reached the school no one was there except a 2 years old girl her eyes were covered with a bandage and a 4 years old boy was guiding her between flower beds she stopped as if to ask who had come so and it seemed that this boy was explaining uh, the visitors details to her means about the narrator to the girl and there later on they passed away from there now miss beam was all that i had expected middle aged full of authority yet kindly and understanding her hair was beginning to turn gray and she had the kind of plump figure that is likely to be comforting to a homesick child i asked her some questions about her teaching methods which i had heard very simple so uh, the narrator says that i had heard a lot about uh, miss beams but when i met her she was middle aged a lady of middle age might be 50s dominating but very friendly authoritative means a very dominating kind of lady but still she was friendly and understanding her hair was turning gray hair turning gray means when you have a white and blackish uh, hair so we say that her hair turning gray she was fat and probably she was trying to make a homesick child feel at ease she was comforting a child and then the author this narrator he questioned her about the simple methods she used for teaching and then he asked her that what were these simple methods with which she used to teach no more than is needed to help them to learn how to do things simple spellings 
adding, subtracting, multiplying and writing. The rest is done by reading to them and by interesting talks during which they have to sit still and keep their hands quiet. They are practically no other lesson. So she says that in her school they used to teach just by simple methods. By helping them to learn simple spellings, addition, then subtraction, how to multiply and how to write. Means the writing skills. The rest of the learning it was done by reading to them and conducting interesting talks. Like having some group discussions or through some lectures. So during which they were supposed to sit quietly and during these lessons they were supposed to sit quietly without moving. Except this, there were actually no other lessons. So, this was very a simple way of teaching in that school, in Miss Bean's school. Isn't it very interesting, children? So, now the real aim of the school is not so much to teach thought as to teach thoughtfulness, kindness to others and being responsible citizens. Look out of the window a minute will you so miss bean said that the actual aim or the main aim of the school was to teach thoughtfulness to the students to make them sensibly kind and concerned towards other and to awaken them to their duties and then she asked the narrator to look out of the window so children are we also learning the same things I don't think if we would have been learning such things, we'll never hurt others. We'll try to understand the feelings of others. Clear? So, I went to the window which overlooked a large garden and a playground at the back. What do you see? Miss Beam asked. So, when she told him to look out of the window and the narrator he started looking out of the window and what he saw uh, there was a large garden and a playground at the back. Then Miss Bean asked him that what do you see? What you have seen over there? I see some beautiful grounds I said and a lot of jolly children. It pains me though to see that they are not all so healthy and active looking when i came in i saw one poor little girl being led about she has some trouble with her eyes now i can see two more with the same difficulty and there's a girl with a crutch walk watching the others at play she seems to be hopeless crippled the narrator was very much depressed to see these children. He said, I saw, I could see a beautiful ground and some cheerful children. He said, uh, but I am very sad to see that there are some children who are not very healthy and active. And after coming in, he noticed that there was a girl who had trouble with her eyes. And then he observed two more with the same kind of disability. Disability means when you are not able to do something. So when you are not able to see, it's again a disability. When you are not able to walk, it's again a disability. So he said he also noticed a girl with a crutch. Which one, sorry, who was watching the other children at play. And perhaps she was lame. When a child is lame, he is not able to walk. He used to have those crutch. Okay. So, he said, I am really very stressed. I am very uh, sad to see that some of the children, they are not very healthy. They are having, uh, they are blind or they are lame or having this or that difficulty. That really troubles me. So, Miss Bean laughed. Oh no, she said, she is not really lame. This is only her lame day. The others are not blind either. It's only their blind day. I must have looked very surprised, for she laughed again. 
so thereafter she explained that to make their children understand all these things it's not her lame day sorry it's not uh, they are not lame it's the lame day or the one who is whom you have seen that girl is blind she is not blind actually it is the blind day so they are having some system in the school where the child is supposed to perform all these activities clear this is a very important part of our system to make our children appreciate and understand misfortune we make them share in misfortune too each term every child has one blind day one lame day one deaf day one injured day and one dumb day during the blind day their eyes are bandaged absolutely and they are on their honor not to peep the bandage is put on overnight so they wake blind this means that they need help with everything other children are given the duty of helping them and leading them about they all learn so much this way both the blind and the helpers so she explained that this is very important and very uh, necessary part of their system so to make the children appreciate and accept and understand misfortune with the same mind as fortune they have made such activities as an important part of their system so there are terms like uh, you are also having two terms okay one is before half yearly other is after half yearly till finals so she says that each term every child is supposed to observe one blind day one lame day one deaf day one injured day and one dumb day so they all have to perform these activities they have to act or they have to uh, feel how difficult is it for a blind child and how difficult it's for a lame child how difficult it is for a deaf child to spend his life so in order to make those things make those children realize the importance of eyes and the importance of your body parts they have to perform these activities each term and it says that on blind day their eyes are blindfolded and they promise that they will not peep at all on that day they'll not peep and this is done overnight so that they wake up in a blind like condition and get help for everything they do so whenever they are it's their blind day so before that during night only their eyes are tied with a cloth and they have to be honest enough that they are not going to peep they are not going to cheat so in the same way like i have told you children that your exams are approaching and uh, during exams now these are online exams you have to do the exams from your home so it's up to you na whether you will do the things honestly or you will cheat so it's your inner conscious so if you are honest enough if you are sincere if you are good students you will not cheat you will do things honestly so in the same way in the story she says that during the blind day they have to be so sincere so honest they will not peep at all and when in the morning when they wake up they wake up in a blind like condition and they get an assistance also somebody who will help them other children have the duty to help and guide them this way both the blind and the helpers learn a lot of things so both blind will also understand that how difficult it is for the uh, blind people to survive and the helper will also come to know that how difficult it is to lead somebody okay so both ways they are going to learn so there is no misery about it miss beam continued everyone is very kind and it's really something of a game 
before the day is over though even the most thoughtful thoughtless child realizes what misfortune is and she says it's really very interesting type of a game even a very careless child who never pays any attention to anything <coughs> excuse me even a very thoughtless child or child who is not having any uh, care about others even that child also learns to be responsible at the end of the day now she says that the blind day is of course really the worst but some of the children tell me that the dumb day is the most difficult we cannot bandage the child's mouth so they really have to exercise their will power come into the garden and see for yourself how the children feel about it so miss beam says that the blind day is really very difficult and uh, she says when i asked the children and some of them used to tell me ma'am it's the dumb day is very difficult so children can you just imagine uh, just you are not allowed to talk for the whole day is it possible for you no not even a single child will be able to do so because i know children they are the chatterboxes they keep on talking talking and talking so it becomes very difficult for the children to keep their mouths mum but as per miss beam is the blind day is very uh, worst very difficult but according to the children the dumb day was the most difficult as they their mouth could not be bandaged and the children had to use their will power in this case and then she took narrator to the garden to let him watch the children and their feelings himself too uh, so that the narrator could interact with the children and he'll come to know about their feelings miss beam led me to one of the bandaged girls has a gentleman come to talk to you said miss beam and left us so what miss beam did she took the narrator to a bandaged girl a girl who was uh, having a bandage it was it might be her blind day and after introducing to them she left don't you peep i asked the girl oh no she exclaimed that would be cheating but i had no idea it was so awful to be blind you cannot see a thing you feel so you feel you are going to be hit by something every moment it's such a relief just to sit down to so that narrator he asked the girl that if she ever tried to look out so the girl she replied anxiously that it would be cheating if she'll peep or she'll try to look it's going to be a cheating and she did not want to cheat before this experience she never realized that being blind was such a difficult task it's really very difficult one was not able to see anything and every step one fears of being hit by something and she says that just sitting down was really a great comfort fairly but they are not as careful as i shall be when it's my turn those that have been blind already are the best helpers it's perfectly ghastly not to see i wish you would try shall i lead you anywhere i asked so the he further asked her if her helper were very kind so she this girl she responded that uh was positive but according to her the intensity of help and the care was lesser because the per- child who is her helper is not having any experience or he has never got his blind day so uh, will not able to understand the way i will be able to when i'll become somebody's helper she would be a better helper during her turn <clears throat> as per her statement people who had experienced the blindness becomes better helpers as they were able to understand their position and this inability to see was very difficult it was very scary and full of fear and she wished could 
give it a try that even the narrator should try it then he asked her if he could show her the way and help her to go anywhere so now the narrator wants her wants to help her and he wants if he could take her somewhere oh yes she said let's go for a little walk only you must tell me about things i shall be so glad when today is over the other days other bad days can't be half as bad as this having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun i guess having an arm tied up is a bit more troublesome because you cannot eat without help and things like that i don't think i'll mind being deaf for a day at least not much but being blind is so frightening my head aches all the time just from worrying that i'll get hurt where are we now so this girl she replied in acceptance and she suggested to go for a walk let's go for a walk she also asked him to tell about the things she uh, said that she would be full of joy once this day this blind day is over she further said that even the bad days would be half as bad than to be blind and as per her opinion other things were fun like uh, to have a leg tied up and jump on a support having an arm tied up was still annoying as it was very difficult to eat something without somebody's help you cannot eat anything so she said that she would not mind to be deaf for a day but being blind actually scared her why it scared her because it troubles her mind with fear that she would get hurt so every time you have a fear that maybe you will get hurt or there might be something you will bang yourself so like that uh, she is afraid and then she asked that where are we now in the playground i said we are walking towards the house miss beam is walking up and down the garden with a tall girl she is what is the girl wearing my little friend asked a cotton a blue cotton skirt and a pink blouse i think it's milly she said what color is her hair very light i said yes that's milly she is the head girl there is an old man tying up roses i said yes that's peter he's a gardener he's hundreds of years old and here comes a girl with curly red hair she's on crutching that's anita she said so narrator he told her that they were in the playground and we were walking towards the house miss beam she was walking up and down the garden with a tall girl and the girl a little girl called the narrator and asked what dress that uh, tall girl was wearing then she explained to her that the details of her dress that she was wearing a blue cotton skirt and a pink blouse so she this girl she further inquired the color of her hair and knowing the light color of hair she suggested that that girl is milly and she is the head girl of the school and narrator he told her that there is an old man who was tying up roses so this girl who was observing her blind day she responded that he is peter our gardener and he is hundreds of years old see for small children uh, whenever you ask somebody's age they'll say he might be 100 or 200 years okay then a girl with curly red hair on crutches crossed and she told that uh, she was anita this girl told the narrator that the girl is anita and the narrator realized that he became more thoughtful isn't it it's uh, then she narrated that this girl is anita and so we walked on gradually i discovered that i was 10 times more thoughtful than i ever thought i could be i also realized that if i had to describe people and things to someone else it made them more interesting to me when i finally had to leave i told miss beam that i was very sorry to go ah oh, she replied then there is something in my system after all so 
the narrator he was very thoughtful he became very thoughtful and sensitive towards the issues of disability that see children it's very very difficult to have any sort of difficulty and did not want to leave the place he did not want to leave that place but he had to go obviously when you um, come to somebody's place so a day will come or after some time you definitely have to leave so miss beam proudly said that the system of her school was so special and unique that the visitors also feel so whenever so somebody comes even those visitors they feel like they would like to stay here only so children it's very difficult to be disabled when you are uh, not having something when you are not able to see or when you are not able to work properly or you having some kind of difficult uh, disability so i think you all are so fortunate enough you are so lucky that you are not disabled you are having all the facilities you are having all the uh, you are able to do everything but still you people are not doing clear so just give a thought try to understand the position the condition of those children who are having such difficulties so whenever in future you encounter you come across such people try to help them don't laugh at them be thoughtful try to understand this world is so beautiful and you are lucky enough that you got eyes to see the beauty of this universe to see the beauty of the world isn't it you're so fortunate and try to thank god that he has blessed you with all these things so i hope you might have understood this chapter take care goodbye